Hi, I'm Dr. Carter. Welcome to um, Geology 104 Earth Science. Uh, we've got a really fun class. We're trying out a number of new things because it's the summer and as we sort of move to a sort of new stage uh, of things, I uh, wanted to got some ideas during uh, lockdown. Thought I'd try them out. Um, so you're going to be trying out a bunch of new stuff. Hopefully that's uh, fun. What we're going to do here today is just a quick little walkthrough of the course. And what I'm going to do here is switch to student view. So first, let's see, waiting. There we go. So this is what you should see when you log into the Canvas page and click on this course, Miramar Geology 104, 61108. You'll see modules. Um, now, the first number one thing to remember when navigating course is, uh, I'll steal this one, Wizard of Oz, there's no place like home. And by the way, we are going to learn a bit about tornadoes this summer, so um, that's going to be cool. So whenever you get lost, just click on the home page, uh, tap your heels together, and uh, yeah, you'll be here with uh, your little dog staring you in the face and all that. It'll be great times. So that's uh, what we got so far. Um, what you're going to find is there's a little welcome video. This just sort of describes my philosophy, kind of what I'm trying to do this uh, summer. And there's a little intro video here. Actually, the intro video is the next page here. That's right. Then you're going to find the most updated version of the syllabus. I do update this throughout the semester as things evolve and situations on the ground change. Inevitably, um, I make a couple mistakes. If you see something not working, let me know ASAP. I will fix it. And if you think your grade was messed up by that, I will hold you harmless and probably reward you. Um, I teach a lot of classes and I do make mistakes and Always open for people to point them out because that's I want to teach the best class possible and have it make the most sense. Um, this is your textbook. Um, you'll be doing most readings out of this. Sometimes I have readings from other sources as well. Um, so, but this is sort of if you want to just browse. Uh, yeah, as you can see, we have separate textbooks for the rocks, for the oceans, for the astronomy, and for weather. And then this little just document kind of helping you get acquainted with Zoom and Canvas. Now the way this course is going to work is um, every week you will have two modules. I have the first one up and ready to go. Second one's still under construction because we're trying out some new stuff. Um, and since the modules, it's going to have some like little mini lessons. So we'll start with a little overview. This is kind of the hook to get you excited about everything and uh, you will see some repetition here. That's okay. And each little sort of pages here will include both some readings and some videos walking it through kind of what, um, walking through it. And some people sometimes will even include uh, clippings of whiteboard stuff I've done in the class because I want you to have as many resources as possible to really rock this course. You can pause them, rewind them, do whatever you want. Uh, leave appropriate comments on the videos. Um, so far, that's not been a problem, but yes, apparently I can turn commenting off if that becomes a problem. Uh, let's see. Um, and I try to give a little summary of each lesson as well so that you know what it's... Uh, and a little of my philosophy. Um, what I've tried doing to this semester is cut back on the homework load. So your primary homework is going to be vocabulary assignments. Uh, I'm going to come in three forms. Vocab. Let's go back to the home here. These vocabulary will include defining, you're going to be defining somewhere about, oh, 10 to 25 words a week that are related to the science. Because inevitably, you learn more words in your first semester of a science class than you do in your first semester of a foreign language. Um, Let's see. Yep. There's also going to be a um, discussion at least once a week. Sometimes I have two in a week just because that's where it's at. Here you can see the vocabulary. This is where you sort of look at some fun. This could be everything from introducing yourself to um, 
sharing something you've seen to uh, reacting. This was one where you start to chew on it and use the classroom community. This is going to be your primary mode of interacting with people. And I really do encourage people to do, this, do these. This is where you're going to be doing quite, probably spending the most time on some level. Um, then you have the quizzes. These are going to be every week. Um, sometimes I have two in a week. Um, again, these are meant to kind of, notice these aren't worth a whole lot. Um, you want to do them. In fact, the first thing you're going to want to do, notice this due date. This is the only time I'm ever going to have an assignment due with less than a week of lead time on it, um, is the quizzes, that first quiz. That gives me really quick, direct information on where you, the student, are at, what's working, what's not. I ask questions there, not just to assess your understanding, but to make sure that we're all on the same page. So, yeah. The, um, so, okay, there we go. Those are three assignments. Finally, you're going to be working on a project. And um, the way I set up the project is so that you're basically working incrementally on it every week. Um, and I try to set up such that once we're to about week six, your project's basically done. Uh, you just have to sort of slap it all together, copy paste it all together, and uh, add some connecting phrases, and then submit it to me for feedback. And again, yeah, this is not deliberate intentional. It's supposed to be kind of a fun thing that will apply what you're looking at to other planets. So these are the two things I'm really emphasizing that I'm going to be really, oh, leaning on people for this week is the online quiz and the options for the final projects. But you definitely want to do these because in the discussion because these are going to really cement your learning. And even though they don't look like a lot of points, over the semester, they add up to a pretty penny. So, so I'm going to get to working on module the second module for the week and try to get some things set up for next week over the next couple days. Um, I really look forward to meeting you, seeing what you discover. And uh, don't hesitate to contact me through any of the ways. I have actually information on how to reach me up here. And uh, oh, one other thing, um, if you want to find out what I'm doing around the USA, click here and that's a link to my blog um i'm giving people extra credit for uh for basically discussing elements of the class that they see expressed in my blog so um as you can see i'm a little bit behind on posting stuff but we'll get there it's it's all a beautiful journey um, look forward to meeting every one of you and uh, can't wait to talk and see what you discover this summer.